Hi, if you would like to get straight to the point and skip the intro to this video, please go to the times I have provided on screen. So, there are a few different reasons as to why I'm making a video about Kaylee Elise. One, my schedule has been hectic, and I haven't had enough time to make one of my longer videos this week. This one should be short and sweet, hopefully. Two, the video I made on Rob Gavigan has blown up, and a lot of people in the comments section were mentioning Kaylee and were wanting me to make a video about her as well. Three, there were a few people that were speculating that I am Kaylee Elise or that I know her somehow, and that's just not the case, sorry. To be perfectly honest, I didn't even know who she was before some of you started mentioning her in the comment section of my Rob Gavigan video, but after doing a little bit of research, I'm well informed and I wish I was able to watch her while she was still making content on YouTube. She seemed like a really cool person and she's obviously greatly missed in the community. Anyway, since a lot of my new subscribers found me through my Rob Gavigan video and were asking about Kaylee, I thought it would be a good idea to put something together for you all. And it seems whenever Rob Gavigan is mentioned, so is Kaylee. So let's jump into it. Kaylee Elise was an American YouTube vlogger and internet personality. She ran horror-related YouTube series including Dark Matters, Nameless, Unsolved Cases, Behind These Walls, and Monsters Among Us. She's good friends with fellow horror YouTubers such as Rob Gavigan and Mortis Media, and has done collaborations with them in the past as well. Her popularity began to rise in 2015 and 2016 due to her entering Rob Gavigan's So You Wanna Be a YouTuber contest in 2015, where she won. In March 2019, Kaylee announced she would be leaving YouTube, citing health reasons for her departure. However, her content would remain on her channel for the time being. In late December of 2019, it appeared that Kaylee had deactivated her channel, and all of her content had been removed from YouTube. All of her other social media accounts seemed to have been deleted or deactivated as well. Shout out to Wikitubia for writing that great summary of Kaylee's channel and journey on YouTube. I will be leaving a link in the description below. Wikitubia also states that Kaylee joined YouTube on July 22, 2012. I'm not sure when she started uploading videos, but it says that when she was uploading content, it was about once a week. So she used to be very active. Now, keep in mind that Wikitubia is run by fans, and that some of this information may be incorrect. So why did she leave? According to Social Blade, she had over 400,000 subscribers with a growing community. Her channel wasn't dead by any means. She even won Rob Gavigan's So You Wanna Be a YouTuber season two and was able to kickstart her YouTube career, an opportunity that most would have killed for. I was actually able to find an answer thanks to a YouTube channel called Purple Haze, who has re-uploaded a ton of her old content. He re-uploaded one of her last videos called I'm Leaving YouTube Soon, and I will be playing some of her explanation here. Trigger warning, depression, and suicidal thoughts will be mentioned. Hello everyone, um, I will be walking away from YouTube in a couple months. Um, um, I will say this decision, I honestly believe it'll be the best thing for me going forward. Um, based on where I am in my life and where I would like to be and where I feel stifled and where I would like to, um, the, the goals I have for myself and who I am becoming as a person versus who I have been. Um, I think this will be the best thing for me to walk away completely. I had a different plan in mind than what I am currently talking about. Um, my plan was to go part-time starting sometime in April because um, with YouTube because in April not exactly sure when but I will have some part-time work coming up outside of YouTube 
So my plan was to go part-time outside of YouTube and then do YouTube part-time as well. And so I felt it wasn't, um, there was no reason for me to keep the Patreons as it wasn't my full job anymore, a uh, full-time job anymore. And that, that was the plan um, to see how I liked that because I've been struggling with my thoughts on where I am in my life and what I'm doing with my life for a while now. But I've also been struggling with something kind of more imminent um, and that needed to be addressed sooner. So right after I announced I would be getting rid of Patreon, um, I had a long, hard think with myself and I had some conversations with my family and with my husband and it made me realize that ultimately the best thing would be to walk away completely at this point in my life. Um, from YouTube and there are a lot of reasons um, that I think this would this is the right path for me and at first when I first realized that I think this was the decision I needed to make there was a there's still a lot of guilt because I there are so many cases that I wanted to cover that I didn't get to cover so many stories that I wanted to cover that I didn't get to cover and then for all the support I've had and um, feeling guilty about walking away from that. But I'm trying to take care of myself right now. Um, sorry. I'm trying to take care of myself right now and do what I think is gonna be best for me in the long run. If you wanna know my reasons, um, I'll explain some of them, but I'm just gonna cut right to the main one because it kind of, it kind of eclipses all the other reasons, to be honest. It's the main reason, and um, it is the main reason I have chosen to walk away instead of just going part-time. I've been struggling for a while with having suicidal thoughts, and I believe that is related to the fact that when I'm researching these cases for a long time, how I've dealt with it is to kind of numb myself, numb my emotions. I'm a very emotional person. Um, so I kind of go numb when I'm doing this research and, and this isn't to say that this would happen with anyone else, you know, or that it doesn't help happen with anyone else. I'm a sensitive person and I have a lot of empathy and I connect a lot to the things that I am researching heavily. And I think my solution to coping with that was to numb myself and I didn't realize I was really doing it for a long while but I think as time went on I definitely started to realize it was happening because I couldn't unnumb myself easily. Um, I, I couldn't turn my feelings back on in my personal life. I think for a long time I was lying to myself that it wasn't happening or that I was okay or or telling myself, sorry, or telling myself that objectively looking at my life, I had nothing to warrant me having those feelings. So I was a horrible person for having suicidal thoughts because I have so much support and so many people that care about the content that I do and it made me feel really guilty for having thoughts like that. And I still feel guilty about it, but um, it got to a point where I was either going to acknowledge that I was feeling these things or that I was going to act on them. So I chose to, sorry, um, I chose to speak up about them and here we are. I, I think by acknowledging them, I can work on that I plan on seeing a therapist for it. That's the main reason. I have a bunch of other reasons that leaving YouTube would be good for me. A lot of it has to do with, it's very socially isolating and I, I also have a hard time letting people in and trusting people. So that's partially my fault. It could have been more of an interactive experience for me, but I think I closed myself off pretty early on but I think it would be good for me to get out into the, the real world and away from the internet for a while. 
where I am with my life right now, this doesn't feel right for me. And I'm not feeling creatively fulfilled either. Um, so that's another reason. So to everyone who has supported and been kind, thank you. Um, Unfortunately, one of the main reasons why Kaylee left was because of her mental health. You know, it's sad seeing her and so many other YouTubers struggle with depression. But I'm glad she was strong enough to make the difficult decision to leave. I'm sure it wasn't easy for her. In the video, she explains that she planned to go to therapy after she uploaded her last video. And I'm sure she followed through with her promise. Not only that, but I have a small update for you guys about Miss Kaylee that I'm sure will brighten your day. So, I remembered while doing research for this video that Rob Gavigan briefly talked about Kaylee Elise in the live stream I saved for the video I made about him. It took me a minute to find it, but I was able to find the section where he spoke about her. Here's the clip. Kaylin, oh, uh, sorry if this is personal, but you know why like, Kaylee at least deleted her channel. Those were great resource videos, and I hope she's well. Um, she is doing well. She is doing well, and she this just wasn't life for her. That, that's all I can say. She she did do a video explaining it, but I'm, um, she deleted her channel, so I'm pretty sure that video is completely wiped unless someone re-uploaded it and she didn't care, or I don't know. But, um, yeah. Kaylee was, um, Kaylee just, it, it just wasn't life, the life for her, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not for everybody, trust me. And some people, they only know, they only realize that once they're in it, you know, and that's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Some people look at fame and they go, I don't want any fucking part of that. And some people, I don't know, it was kind of, kind of thrusted upon her, you know what I mean? Like success was just like, I'm like, I want to help build you you know into this into this really formidable kind of creator in this true crime space and it happened very quickly because her content was very good she was a natural at it and i saw that and i said we we gotta get viewers in because you put on a great show it just needs to get in front of people's eyes and it did but um i think she's much happier where she's at now but that's all i'll say about it because I, you know, I don't want to go too far into it. And there you have it. I wish I could have been able to find more information on how she's doing. But if she wants to keep her life private now, I totally understand and respect her decision. I just hate it for you guys who were big fans of hers, you know? It's always hard losing a YouTuber that you love to watch. It's kind of like losing a friend in a weird way. Ugh, I'm still not over Jenna Marbles leaving us. And now I'm sad. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts you'd like to share, please leave them in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's about it. Bye guys.